How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and welcome to part number one out of five of my Midnight Fire series. I've been uploading videos every single day for about a month and a half now, give or take, and I'm really excited to bring five Wild Blaze booster boxes to this channel. I just can't wait to upload at my typical 3 p.m. Eastern. I can't hold off that long, so I wanted to do a special series for Midnight Fire. So I really hope that you guys are excited to see more Wild Blaze booster boxes. If you are, of course, make sure you show your support. It's quick and easy. Just gotta hit that like button down below. Of course, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these booster boxes and the sets as well. Uh, I was mistaken in my previous video when I said I thought they were unlimited edition. It's because I looked at the back and I can't read Japanese and I didn't see a no, uh, first edition symbol on there, so I figured. But I wasn't really looking too closely at them. Uh, if you do like what you see in this video and you've not seen Wild Blaze booster box openings before, it's a great opportunity to let you know that I've already opened 21 booster boxes of Wild Blaze on this channel before. Uh, these did come straight from AmiAmi. For whatever reason, they decided they were going to restock and they put them up as a pre-order, like a couple of weeks in advance. So, of course, being able to snag five more booster boxes of X and Y2 at a uh, regular retail price, and by regular retail price, I mean retail price in Japan minus 20% plus shipping to America, is pretty fantastic. So, enough about me, enough about these videos, let's get into the good stuff and open up pack one. Alright, we have Protection Cube, uh, Flabebe, Shinx, a Sneasel, and an Avalug. To take a quick gander through the set right before starting this video. Hopefully it's going to have paid off. Alright, we have Foratress, uh, Duskull, Litleo, Maractus, and a Skuntank. Pack number three is a Butterfree, very nice. Uh, Binnacle, a Quillfish, a Skrelp, and a Dust Noir Hollow. Good, good, good stuff. Let's set that over here. I think I'm going to adjust this lighting just a little bit. It's pretty humid out today, but it was a cool start to the day, only about 60 degrees or so for the first couple hours of the morning, which when you're hunting for Pokemon and Pokemon Go is good news. So we've got Trick Shovel, uh, Sveal, Luxio, Bergmite, and Barbarical. It's another reason why I wanted to do these openings at midnight, because I know a lot of you crazy Americans out there might be hunting at all hours of the evening, and this will encourage you to have something to do when you get home. You're not going to be able to sleep right away after catching those Dragonites, am I right? Uh, Weavile, Seedot, Ponyta, Helioptile, what's going on Skull, and a Florges Hollow. Very nice, so cool to see this set again. Yes. Uh, I would definitely like to get three out of five booster boxes with a secret rare or ultra rare inside. Of course, pulling a couple mega Charizard EXs would be terrific too. Uh, Pidgeot, Centret, Floet, Phoebus, and is that Magnetic Storm? Something like that. Whoa, get out of there, Charizard. Alright, Fiery Torch, Gumi, uh, Celio, Geodude, and a Shiftry Hollow. Recently added a new typing in X and Y 11, but this Hollow is certainly nothing to sneeze at. Alright, we've got Walrein, Stunky, Sligu, Caterpie, and Golem. Next pack has Startling Megaphone, Pidgey, haven't seen enough of those guys in the real world the last couple of days, uh, Roselia, uh, Esper, that's who that is, and a Drudigan Hollow. So no EXs just yet, of course we're well before breaks were ever a thing, this came out in March of 2014 I believe. So it's easy to expect breaks out of booster packs these days as we've gone through several sets that had them not to be here. 
Uh, we've got a Snorlax, a Flabebe, Veneri, a Shinx, and a Pyroar Hollow. Awesome. So weird. Five Hollows without an EX yet. Yeah. I hope they put them in these boxes. That'd be nice. Or maybe the last pack of every box just has five secret rares and ultra rares inside. I would tolerate these packs just for that that experience, that chance. Uh, Miltank, Duskull, Pidgeotto, Litleo, and a Lysander. Of course, I definitely like at least one of the secret rares or ultra rares to be like on the higher end of awesome. Though I know I can't control that. Uh, Sacred Ash, Finical, Pidge, uh, not Pidgey. I was thinking about that Pidgey from before. Pineco, Scrap. Oh my goodness. See, I was all out of sorts because it seemed like the back card stuck a little bit. And I was like, huh, maybe that's a full art. Maybe I'm misremembering. I'm not misremembering. What a hell of a card. Whew. Charizard EX Full Art. That absolutely qualifies as one of the coolest possible cards we could get here. Oh, look at that texture. Quick zoom in right there, as you can see. 81 out of 80, Secret Rare. Oh, lovely card. Really, really something. Shut that off real quick. You can get a different look there. This is the moment when there was no doubt that full arts were going to be like a force to be reckoned with, not just for the current TCG and for collectors, but for every card that anyone has ever wanted to collect. There are things like these. There are going to be cards that just blow people away. And that is a card that got a lot of people hooked. Uh, Avalug, Spiel, Graveler, Bergmite, and a Toxic Rook EX. No wasting of time here. The wait was worth it, but now we're just going to power through Toxic Croak EX. It almost doesn't look holographic now, in the wake of that beautiful Charizard. Wow, what a box to start. Uh, Skuntank, Metapod, Dust Noir, um, not Dust Noir, Dust Clops, C Dot, and Roserade. Hoping for one more EX out of this box, maybe towards the end, we have a Luxray, Helioptile, Durant, uh, Centret, and our old friend the Carbink Hollow. I wonder if I'll go 5 for 5 with you. You silly, silly card. Uh, for those of you who are not around for my Wild Blaze Booster case, uh, that was one of the first cards that started actually following me around. Like, from box to box to box. I would constantly pick up carbings. So, just kind of makes me laugh to see it again. Uh, Lopany, Phoebus, Furret, Gumi, and Pokemon Center Lady. Yeah, that Charizard is definitely a valuable full art to pull. You can expect to see it in my full art sale binder at, you know, some point. I don't think I'm going to be selling it just yet. Uh, Barbarical, Geodude, Love Disc, uh, Stunky, and a Fortress. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with these openings. Any of the full arts, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to make them made immediately available for purchase, but anything else, after you see the video, um, you can message me and stuff, and if there happens to be something that I have that you want, then we can certainly try to work something out. Not sure what I'm going to price some of these at, and I'm pretty sure I've still got some Toxic Rookie Exes floating around. But for some of the rarer ones, don't be surprised if they're a little higher than you might expect from regular EXs, because of, well, how popular they are. Uh, Protection Cube, Esper, Nuzleaf, uh, Flabebe, and a nice-looking Milotic Hollow. Great to see that card again. Was always a fan. In our last pack, hopefully going to have an EX inside. A little bit of last pack magic, if we can help it. We've got a Floatzel, uh, Shinx, 
why am I blanking? Sneasel, obviously. Duskull, and a Kangaskhan EX. Awesome stuff. Some of the non-Charizard EXs uh, in this set don't have a whole lot of prestige back in them, but it's still cool to pull them nonetheless. So I do believe our first Midnight Fire opening was a success. I'm going to sort these out real quick. Holographic pulls in this booster box were Dust Noir. Ugh, get back there. Yes, Dust Noir. Florgis, Shiftry, Dradigan, Pyroar, Carbink, and Milotic. Also pop that Kangaskhan EX and Toxicroak EX. And the pull of the box, and some might argue the pull of the set, is glorious. Charizard EX Full Art. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button if you did. Make sure you subscribe to continue to see Japanese openings and Japanese content each and every day on this channel. And I will be back in 24 hours' time, midnight tomorrow, to kick off another Wild Blaze Booster Box, and I hope to see you there.